So we got Melanie Martinez class fight. See what she got? She's about to pop off. Yeah, seriously. It was the middle of class and the teacher wasn't looking. Kelly had a fat ass and trouble was cooking. She had a boy wrapped around her finger tight. I fell in love with him, but he wasn't in my life. The teacher gave me notes to go out and give Kelly. She was kissing Brandon, I got jelly. I wanted to be in her shoes for a I just waited till recess to make her pay. Mommy, why do I feel sad? Should I give him away or feel this bad? No, 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 don't you choke. Daddy Chan didn't go for the throat. For I like the topic. It, it reminds me of Lindsay Lohan's Mean Girls mm -hmm. in a sense that that female rivalry, especially in the school setting, because I think in the school setting is when when it's at its peak, like that rivalry, because I think at, during that time, obviously, like you got the hormones and the social environment is very different because the social environment in the adolescent group means a lot, means a lot more. Like your social group has a bigger impact in your adolescence than in any other age category. So as we get older, it actually means less to us. But when we're adolescents, um, that peer pressure and what people think about us is really central to our perception. And, and it means a lot for us to be, to be like during that time. And I think a part of it is because we're still trying to build our identity. We don't really know ourselves. Yeah. You know? it, spot on. It makes sense because in that age, when you're in school, like your world is as big as you think it is in school, right? And so your world is kind of small in retrospect to, you know, the, the rest of the world. And so, of course, being accepted in school is like the biggest thing in the world and the most important thing, um, which is why I think you see so much going on in, in middle school and high school. You see, you know, all, all these fights that are happening, um, a lot of teenagers rebelling during that time um and to your point you know like there's so so much hormones like just going on in your body like it's it's kind of hard to really understand who you are yeah i think you make a great point because like generally when we're in school and when we're in that age group like we're low level thinkers, right? So we're not really thinking past school. We're not thinking about, oh, what are we going to do in college or, or, or what are we going to do for work? I mean, yeah. some of us, yeah. right? But for the most part, we're very narrow minded and we're very focused on like, especially during that age when we are really starting to learn about sex, we're very focused on our peers and the people that we have crushes on, right? especially like during this era where you have all these social media platforms and like she's she really likes this guy and she has like this rivalry with this other girl that may be perceived as prettier or has maybe a more attractive body so she feels insecure which is obviously extremely relevant to how females feel in general but especially during that time as they're when they're teenagers No, no, don't you choke. Daddy Chan didn't go for the throat. For the throat, for, for the throat. Daddy Chan didn't go for the throat. For the throat, for, for the throat. Daddy Chan didn't go for the throat.
Oh my God, and that's perfect. I love that she uses the snake because the snake symbolizes someone that's like two-faced, right? And it's why like when we're younger, we call someone a snake when they're friendly to our face, but then behind our back, they're a totally different person, right? So she's essentially, um, yeah, a snake. Yeah, and I actually love the symbol that the snake represents, right? Not only are they sneaky, but they can eat anything bigger than them. Yeah, and the way they kill you is very unique, right? Like they're the only they're the only reptiles, maybe not the only reptiles, but for the most part there's there's not many creatures that kill you by strangulation, right? They're constrictors. Like they strangle you to death. For the most part I don't you don't think bite. snakes do that though. I thought you would you were going to say that they have no jaw. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. Oh, that's right. Because some snakes, what, they poison you? Is that... Like the rattlesnakes? I, I thought for, for the most part, I always thought they strangled you. I, I guess it depends on the snake. Do. But yeah, in this case, she's, it looks like she's about to be strangled. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she's going to be friends with it. Let's see how this plays out. I really mm -hmm. wish we watched the movie because then we'd have like... More context. Yeah, we'd have more context. And we'd have like the full view of like what it is that she's trying to say. But... The music video is a good standalone also. Yeah, and I'm also certain that we didn't do anything in order. So to even see her character development is just shot. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's gone. But we can piece it together. It's like a puzzle, you know? Like, yeah, you, you don't yeah. have a specific place where you have to start. You could start in the corners, but it doesn't matter. You can start anywhere you want and still finish. Remember in school when you would have to, like, kind of piece sequences in order and try mm. to figure out, okay, like, what comes first? in the story? I do. she was wearing like it was embarrassing for everyone and like I told her I was trying to be helpful I gave her advice I was like that's ugly and I love how she disguises her her criticism and her meanness in a way where like oh I'm trying to help yeah. but she's really not she just doesn't like her but she's dressing it as oh I'm just trying to help which which I think illustrates how manipulative she can be with especially with the other girls you know because she's obviously isolated and alienated from the group she's not a part of the group mm -hmm. and interestingly enough you know all the females are wearing the same thing except for melanie martinez mm. and so for her to say that what she's wearing is ugly it's almost um mirroring mm. our real world our, our actual world where when someone dresses in a way where it's not um you know, maybe accepted or not popular or trending. Um, you know, people are so quick to say that it's ugly. That makes sense. Because she's a trendsetter and a, a nonconformist, it's why she's a target. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. See what she was wearing? Like, it was embarrassing for everyone. And, like, I told her. I was trying to be helpful. I gave her advice. I was like, that's ugly. And she just, she took it like personally. She was getting all mad about it. I was like, I'm helping you. Stop. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> like super narcissistic. Like everything's about me. Mm -hmm. You have to listen to what I'm going to say. Don't interrupt me. So she shows like very common um, narcissistic traits. Interrupt me. I just don't understand why you wouldn't take my advice. I give really good advice to people, and it's just a. Are you even listening to me?
if she's a mutant because if you ever watched like X Men, and I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily X Men, but mutants are typically alienated because they're different. So I like that she's a mutant as well, which illustrates like an outcast. I love that you see her change every time something bad happens to her. And it's almost like a traumatic event that just keeps adding in her life and makes her have powers. Yeah, it reminds me of um, Carrie. Remember Carrie? Yeah. And then she like at the end, like she turned it up in the school and like <laughs> killed everybody or at least almost everybody. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of. And it's fucked up because, you know, when she has to fight her enemy and defeats them, like, she feels sad. Right? Like, it's... It just goes to show the type of person she is. And she's very kind-hearted. Yeah. And and it's yeah it's it's definitely fucked up that she's portrayed as the bad guy when she's like as you said when she's forced to defend herself and I think that's that's relevant to how a lot of people are like sometimes they withhold what they want to say or do because they know it's inappropriate although sometimes that's what's needed to to solve the issue right like you think about kids that are bullied if you don't stand up for yourself in a way where it's taken seriously by the bully which may get you in trouble if you don't do that you risk the um the chances of you can continuing to be bullied as opposed to like you standing up for yourself and you may get in trouble for that anyway right so either way it's it's kind of like that um that catch 22 where you're fucked either way but i think the better solution would be to stand up for yourself you may or may not get in trouble but that's the risk you have to take and I think that's what she does. But she feels bad about it because she mm -hmm. didn't want to do it, but she still does. Yeah. And then that thing... 